With the holidays upon us and all the trips from this house to that house, you may be wondering if your car is up to the task. Or maybe you're in the market for a vehicle and you want to make sure that it can accommodate all of your future trips wherever your grandmother's house may be. Well, you're in luck. Today, we've picked three of the best family haulers in three different vehicle segments, and we're going to tell you why they might just be perfect for your family this holiday season. Hi, I'm Yo Mary from Edmonds. At Edmonds, we painstakingly test and review hundreds of cars, SUVs, and trucks each year, while CarMax buys, sells, and expertly appraises thousands upon thousands. We've combined forces to help you make the right choice for your next car. Before we pack them up with presents, be sure to click like and subscribe for more CarMax videos. If you'd like more information about any of the vehicles in this video, click the link in the description. And if you have a great vehicle story from when you were growing up, let us know in the comments. Short of buying a full-size passenger van or maybe a tour bus, well, there's really no family hauler that can compete with the sheer space that you get in a minivan. And at Edmonds, one of our favorite minivans is the Honda Odyssey. In fact, the 2021 Odyssey is our top-rated minivan this model year. Passenger space is just one of the reasons we love the Honda Odyssey, so let's talk about it. It's easy to get in and out of the Odyssey using either of the sliding doors. And once you get inside, the seats are nice and comfy and there's plenty of adjustability. Now, I don't mean just for the driver, I mean for all of the seats. The second row has that track system that allows you to configure your space, whether you're trying to accommodate passengers and cargo, or maybe you're just trying to slide those seats out of the way to make it easier for your passengers to get into that third row. Now, did you notice that the third row has cup holders? Yeah, there's cup holders all throughout the vehicle and there's actually enough space for adults back there. Amazing, right? Well, now that we're talking about space, they have an amazing amount of space. When you fold down the second and third row seats, you get an amazing 155.8 cubic feet of space. Honda also does a great job with small item storage all throughout the cabin, and that's in addition to this huge center console. There are some great family-friendly features throughout the cabin, like the easy-to-use controls, lots of USB ports, and I don't mean just in the front or the second row. For this year, they've even added USB ports all the way to the third row. And then there's an available in-cabin camera instead of a mirror, which lets you keep an eye on the kids even in the third row, plus an optional intercom. Yeah, so that you can stop hearing things like, I didn't hear you when you know they did. Now let's see how it does on the road. Out on the road, the Odyssey is super comfortable, quiet, and easy to drive. The seats feel nice and comfortable for long road trips, and there isn't any vibration from the car. It feels isolated and serene. The steering and handling is like a car. It's much more fun to drive than some of the large SUVs that accommodate as many passengers. The 3.5 liter V6 provides 280 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque, which feels like enough power to get up to speed on the highway and to pass other vehicles with confidence. The 10-speed automatic transmission is responsive. When it comes to fuel economy, it's not stellar. The EPA estimates put it around 22 miles per gallon combined, which is average for minivans. But in our 115-mile evaluation route, which is mostly highway driving, we got closer to 21 miles per gallon. There's also no hybrid available. So its mileage is the Honda Odyssey's biggest drawback, even though 22 miles per gallon is still respectable. Okay, so maybe the minivan image isn't quite what you were hoping for. Maybe you want something a bit more rugged, maybe something with all-wheel drive. It could come in handy if getting to grandma's house takes you through some snowy terrain. Well, the Telluride fits the bill and then some. When it comes to passenger space, minivans have the edge, but this Telluride has plenty of space in all three rows, with adults fitting comfortably even in the last row. 
Now, I do realize that 87 cubes behind the first road is almost half of what you get in the Odyssey with its 155.8 but it's still pretty impressive for an SUV. Plus, you have plenty of storage for small items, including a large center console. The kids will be happy because there are USB ports in every row, and they can keep their devices charged. There's tons of glass giving you great visibility and an outdoorsy feel, so they'll have fun playing I Spy. And if your plans include a boat or a trailer, the Telluride's 5,000 pound towing capacity can definitely make it happen. And you have to give Kia credit for creating a luxury feel without the luxury price tag. Out on the road, the Telluride offers a smooth, comfortable ride. These seats are supportive and nicely contoured so those long drives are comfortable drives. Adding to the overall comfort is a climate control that works really quickly. So when it's four degrees out and you're running from the front door to the car, the Telluride cabin will thaw you out in no time. Under the hood, you've got a powerful V6 that gives you plenty of passing and merging power, so there's no worries there. The Telluride can handle 8 inches of clearance with its available all-wheel drive. The EPA estimates are pretty respectable for a three-row SUV with big capacities. You get 21 and 23 MPG combined. Unfortunately, there's no optional hybrid, but there's a decent range on the highway. So let's say your group isn't big enough for a minivan or a three-row SUV, but instead you want big adventure capability. Those adventures include a big trailer and payload capacity for all of your firewood. You've got it, that's where the Ford F-150 excels. And it's why it's one of our favorite pickup trucks. Trucks have been evolving from utility only to everyday family vehicles. And this F-150 is just the latest example of that trend. In this crew cab, you have lots of room in the front and the back, with lots of places to store items like underneath the seats and even the seat back pockets. And that's in addition to this massive center console. I mean, look at it. It's, it's amazingly large. The F-150 is not necessarily the best for big families, but for families that like to pack a lot, the F-150 has you covered. To keep the family happy, there are USB and USB-C ports everywhere, so everyone can keep their devices charged. In the very cool category, we have optional max recline seats for some very well-deserved me time. And there's also an optional onboard generator that can allow you to power tools, appliances, and even outdoor lights for your holiday party. Because whether you're driving or not, it still works. Want to bring a trailer? Why not bring a big one and avoid sleeping on grandma's couch? Because depending on how the F-150 is equipped, it can tow up to 14,000 pounds. Out on the road, the F-150 has a composed, comfortable ride. The cabin is quiet and well isolated from outside noise. To complement the excellent ride are these super comfortable front seats that stayed comfortable all the way through our 100-mile test loop. There's plenty of power available from a choice of six different engines, starting with a 3.3-liter V6 engine producing 290 horsepower and 265 pound-feet of torque, and going all the way up to a hybrid powertrain, Ford's Power Boost, which combines a turbocharged 3.5-liter V6 with an electric motor and a battery pack producing 430 horsepower and 570 pound-feet of torque. Steering and handling are some of the best in the class, so you'll have no trouble scooting up your local mountain pass and having a bit of fun along the way. With so many different engine options for the F-150, EPA estimates vary widely, from 15 miles per gallon combined with the Raptor off-road model to 25 miles per gallon combined with V6 versions. The different towing and off-roading packages will affect these estimates too. 
Thankfully, a big fuel tank and optional extra large fuel tanks mean you'll have a long range for road trips. So here are three different approaches to the family trip. Each is packed with features and lots of comfort. So I think it really comes down to the size of your party and where your priorities lie. If you're traveling with young kids who need car seats, boosters, strollers, and entertainment, you might find that the Odyssey is the comfortable and easy solution. If you're looking for a bit more rugged capability and style and you don't need all of the massive storage space that the minivan offers, well then the Telluride might be just right for you. But if you're looking for full-on adventure and you don't need the third row seat, well then the F-150 with its ability to accommodate boats and motorcycles and lots of other toys could definitely be the way to go. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to click like and subscribe to the CarMax YouTube channel. If you'd like to read an in-depth article about any of the vehicles that we've talked about today, click on the link in the description below.